Hi folks, Robert here with Inventor Training. Today I had a question from a customer and they wanted to know that I have this family or this step file. Actually, no, I do not. So what we're normally doing, then we don't really do this in Rivet. Uh, we'll basically use Inventor for this. So let's hop into Inventor. So now to do that, you want to start a new standard IPT. We'll go create Okay, now I want to do a start a 2D sketch, and then I want to select the XZ plane, and then I want to draw a circle, center point circle here. It will make this a half inch. And basically for that, that's really all we need. Um, so I'm going to go into my finished sketch. I want to select the strew. And this is at one inch. Uh, actually, I don't want it at one. Let's make it, uh, let's make this 0.75. We'll say OK. So now we have that done. And then next thing I want to do, I want to go and I want to go to these origins. And I want to pick up the XY plane. And then I want to create a sketch there on that plane. So here I'll just draw a line from here to here. This will just be a profile from here to there. And we want to close this up from here to here. Now, we need to constrain things. That's what uh, Inventor's all about. I'm going to make this 0.25. And then this angle here, let's look at this thing one more time. Can't really tell from that picture, but it looks kind of steep. So I'm going to go 45 minimum. So here, I'm going to do from here to here. make this 45. Again, don't quote me on these measures. I have to have the actual one. So there, we're going to finish that sketch there. So hit finish sketch. And then I want to go and hit the revolve. And then it's asking me uh, the axis in there. And we're going to go OK here. And that's finished. So there's what we got so far here. So now we want to continue on here. Let's get this in the view. We want to select the top of this guy and we want to edit this sketch as well. Let's go up top. And then what I want to do here, I want to do a rectangle center point. I'm going to just make this probably, let's, we can go out here. We can go make this, let's make this 195. And then I want to finish this sketch as well. One on my 3D view. And then I want to extrude this guy. But this time, I don't want to go up. I want to go down, but not that deep. I want to go down just a, let's say about an eighth of an inch. Let's say OK. So that's, uh, I'm not, I mean, you know, I don't really know. Let's see. Let's look at this one more time. Yeah, we're going to go with it. Okay, so now we have that done. And so what, what we kind of want to do now is uh, go in here and you can do a couple of things. So let's grab our material first. So let's grab this extrusion and let's make this galvanized. And then we'll take the rev revolution here and make this galvanized as well. And we also have to do this little extrusion. So we have all our, we got this galvanized. Okay. So now what, what we do here in Inventor, what they can do, you can go here and we'll see if I can do this in one video. Now you can make threads here, you just select this command, and then you select this surface, and 
that were 1015 A's. So that's basically what all we would do for that. So there's our, what would that be, that HFM? It's close, but not as close as I like it. So now what I'm going to show you right quick here, I'm going to show you how to do real threads. So I'm going to undo this back if I got time here. And let's go to our, let's see, you want to look at this, this plane right here. And I want to sketch on it. Let's see again. That one. Let's try this. Let's see. I'm going to go down here. I want to create a little gritty profile here. Okay, what I think I might do, I might do this in another video. Um, be a lot easier and a lot faster. Hey guys, so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.